Hello, welcome back fourth grade readers and writers. Welcome to ELA School Away From School. And just a reminder, I'm your virtual teacher, Mrs. Ewing. All right, so we're in week eight. We're on lesson 35 today. Uh, let's review our guiding questions. What can we learn from the process of ratifying the 19th Amendment? The second guiding question we really wanted to focus on yesterday during our reading, and we're gonna continue to think about over this next several days and weeks. How can stories inspire us to take action to contribute to a better world? And then in the final weeks, we're going to think about this guiding question, how and why can we encourage and support others to contribute to a better world? All right, so some materials you're going to need today. You will need your text, Children March, Let's Kids Speak Up About the Future of the World. You're going to need your Lesson 35, your Lesson 35 note catcher, and your pencil. All right, so I'll wait here for you. Go get your materials and come right back. All right, great, you have your materials. So let's look at our learning targets. I can determine the meaning of general and domain specific words and phrases as they pertain to the article, Children March, Let's Kids Speak Up About the Future of the World. Now we've been practicing some of our close reading strategies for finding uh, meanings of unknown words and phrases, and we're gonna continue that work today. So I'll even encourage you, really think about the strategies you are using. Maybe use a strategy you haven't used before to really just practice and work on that, um, that problem solving muscle of yours of finding the meaning of these unknown words and phrases. All right, so go ahead and with a family member, a caregiver or a friend, reread the section with the subheading, three important issues from Chicago March, Let's Kids Speak Up About the Future of the World. You will find that heading in that section on the first page of your reading. All right, pause this video and reread that now. Great. Now I want you to think about uh, some unknown words and phrases, but before we begin, I do want to remind you of some of our strategies. Remember that close readers use strategies to figure out the meaning of words they don't know. We can also use this for phrases we don't know. So the first one is we can use context clues. We can think about what are we reading about before and after that word or phrase, what's happening in the story, and what would make sense for that word or phrase to mean. We can also look at affixes. Remember those are the words, word parts that come at the beginning or the end of the word that modifies that meaning. Or we can look at root words. It's that part of the word that can actually stand on its own. Now, you can always use a dictionary and Google, but you know what I'm going to say. Only use that if you absolutely need to, because if we work on our muscles, right, to work on your muscles, you need practice. So we want to practice some of those other strategies. All right, so think about these following questions. What is this section mainly about? How does this section support the main idea of the whole text? And if you remember, yesterday we talked about the main idea of the text. So you can always go back and look at that note catcher. What does the word raise mean? What does the word awareness mean? Are there any parts of that word that are familiar to you? And what does the phrase then raise awareness mean? All right, pause this video and think about this now. All right, so we read, we thought, let's talk. All right, so you're gonna notice that I ask a question two times. And the reason is I want us to first think about what does the phrase raise awareness mean? So what are your first thoughts and have this conversation? What do you think raise awareness means? All right, good. So now you have some thoughts what you think raise awareness means. Let's dive in and look a little bit closer at this phrase by pulling apart and looking at some words specifically. All right, before we do that, though, I want you to think about what clues can you find in the text that help you understand the meaning of that phrase? Are there any clues? Can you use your context strategy? All right, pause this video and talk about it. All right, now I want you to think about that first word in the phrase is raise awareness. What does that word raise mean? And what is a synonym for the word raise? Remember, a synonym is a word that means the same. All right, pause this video, talk about it now. All right, what are the word parts in awareness? Talk about this. 
All right, great. Now that we've kind of, we've um, looked for clues, we've talked about the parts of the, the phrase, phrase awareness, I want you to now share what does the phrase raise awareness mean? Are you still thinking the same thing or has it changed some since we've looked closer at this phrase? All right, pause this video and talk about it now. All right, great. Somewhere in there, you probably talked about raise awareness. Raise can mean to lift up. Raise can mean to heighten, right? Awareness, I see that root word aware in there, which means make known. So raise awareness must mean something like to heighten the knowledge or um, to make somebody uh, more aware or known of a topic or something important. So in this case, if we're thinking about this article, the students were trying to raise awareness. They were trying to make more known these important topics to them. See how we can dig deeper into a phrase and really try to find the meaning of what it means and especially in context to that whole text. Whew, you guys are doing some good work. All right, so we read, we thought, we've talked, now let's write. So on the note catcher, we are going to capture our thinking. So in that first box, I want you to tell me what does the quote raise awareness mean? In that second box, what clues from the text support your answers? In the third box, what is a synonym for the word that means that, what is a synonym for the word raise? And remember, a synonym is a word that means the same. What are the word parts you can find in awareness? How does this help you find the meaning of the word? So record that there. And in that last box, I want you to think about how does this quote support the main idea of the whole text? All right, pause this video and do this work now. All right, great job. Now you're gonna notice, let's look again. And let's think about this learning target. I can determine the meaning of general domain, general and domain specific words and phrases as they pertain to the article, Chicago, Chicago, Chicago March, Let's Kids Speak Up About the Future of the World. Now remember, we did exactly that, right? We used our strategies to find the meaning of an unknown word and phrase. And then we thought, how does it pertain to the article? So how does it fit into that big idea that the article is telling us? Oh, great work. All right, I want you to share your writing now with someone. Tell them why you chose to write what you did. After you complete this assignment, remember to read a book with a family member, a caregiver, or a friend for at least 20 minutes. And then, oh, you still have to do that fluency practice. I got a little trigger happy, but you still have the fluency practice. So use a timer. It could be a cell phone timer, kitchen timer. You can have someone count to 60. But I want you to read that passage for one minute. Count the words you read and write that number at the top of your text. All right, I appreciate your hard work so much, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great night.